Hi, it's Sharon here. Welcome you to the Foss Gallery and to the start of our new exhibition for Louis Turpin and Friends. Introducing the work of Emma Turpin, Nick Archer, Catherine Rieke and Keith Purser. The exhibition is now up and running and it goes on right through till Saturday the 19th of November. Do hope you'll be able to visit, but if not, we've made this virtual tour for you to enjoy. Louis has lived and worked in Rye for as long as I can remember. Its environs has, for many years, been a magnet for artists and indeed the birthplace of one of the UK's finest painters, Edward Burrow. Paul Nash lived locally. Burne Jones was a frequent visitor. Millet lived and worked down the road in Winchelsea and John Piper was often in Rye and he moved out across the marsh to paint his fine watercolours of the marsh churches. And Pissarro? Well, he regularly spent summers moving between Rye and Hastings. Consequently, the town has had a long-established art society, the Rye Society of Artists, home to some fine painters, of whom I have the pleasure of exhibiting at the Foss Gallery today. Louis Turpin's dazzling garden paintings and landscapes of the East Sussex countryside are familiar to us here at Foss. Taking in his favourite garden of Great Dixter, he has also visited and recorded the gardens of Nyman's, Hinton Ampner and Mottisfont for this exhibition. As the year progressed and the weather became hotter and the days drier, some of these gardens began to suffer. Through it all, Louis was still able to capture the flower beds in all their glory. the coastal locations have certainly influenced the direction of Keith Purser's work, together with his interest in abstraction and simplification of his subject matter. The results are oh, they're joyful. In her collection of landscapes for this show, Catherine Rieke has carefully depicted the fauna that you might find in the foreground of a rural East Sussex view. Looking closely into that mesh of grass and wild flowers, you might see what lurks within. In recent years, Emma Turpin has been exploring the notion of shelter in landscapes. There are structures hidden in forests and others that have almost been part of their surroundings. Nestled in the evening light or light of the moon, I love the deep, rich tones of her work. Using copper as his base, which glistens when the light moves, Nick Archer's work is eye-catching. With a bold palette, he produces darkly magical landscapes, incorporating figures and structures to create tension and intrigue. Five very different artists, five very different visions, though all united, bound up by their sense of place. <laughs> 